What's up, everybody? So welcome back to my channel, Green Man Grow 7. I'm Sean Knight, and today, the Painted Lady. Look at this beauty right here. I had to show you. I just picked her up yesterday, so she's getting acclimated to the loft, but look at that. And this was a plant that I saw, and I was like, eh, I don't know. Not this particular plant, but... I saw a plant that looks like this and then I was like, no, nah, I don't think I want that until I saw this one and then I had to have it. And so this is the Philodendron Painted Lady. And so look at the variegation on that beauty. It's a climber, as you can see. I have it in my kitchen area. I'm getting acclimated because having a loft, you don't have separate rooms. So this gives me the opportunity to put it in an area where other plants are really not in the way and it's you know as it gets acclimated i cleaned it off and made sure that it doesn't have any bugs and all of those things but look at that and then yep you know me i staked it if you've been watching my channel for a while you know how i am with plants and it's a big stake because it's gonna grow but look at that beauty isn't it something so that's the philodendron painted lady. I can't wait to see how this beauty grows. Quite naturally, the, it's a philodendron. So if you have philodendrons or if you know about philodendrons, they have to have a chunky soil so that the roots can breathe, but also so that they don't retain a lot of water. And past that, since we're in the growing season and it's officially spring, although you can't really tell here in Chicago by this 30 degree weather, um, fertilize the plants at least once a month, liquid fertilizer. And that's what I'm giving this baby. I haven't fertilized it or done anything yet. Like I said, I just got the plant on yesterday and I repotted it. And I want to talk about that. Um, I got the plant and the plant was watered. It had so much water in it that it caused me to uh, take the plant out of the pot to look at the roots. Well, it had some root rot because the plant was sitting in water. I don't know how long it was sitting in water at the nursery where I picked it up from, um, but it was a lot of water in it. And so I had to cut off some of the roots and what I did was repotted it. And I put it in uh, my aeroid soil medium um, without watering it. But what I did was to hopefully not shock the plant, um, I left some of the soil medium that was wet and mixed it with the dry soil medium that I made and then put the plant in there and potted it up and staked it. And so what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to water the plant for a couple of days. And then what I'm going to do is treat the plant, give it some nutrients and water the plant. And that way that'll help in the adjustment process in the period. But I, I say that to say, you know, when we buy these plants, although we may be buying from reputable nurseries and stores and think everything is okay. If your instinct is telling you the plant is too dry, if your instinct is telling you that the plant is too wet, check. Because had I not checked and let it, I could have uh, had more root rot and may lost the plant. And I paid for this plant and I didn't, It's it wasn't a cheap plant. It wasn't very, very expensive, but it wasn't a cheap plant. And so Money spent is money spent. And I just wanted to say that to give you helpful hints because now we're in the spring where more nurseries, and I'll say this, it's not the nursery's fault. Sometimes we have people who just work at a nursery. Their job is to water plants. They don't know any better. So what they do is just go and water and they just drench the plant with water and go on to the next plant. So you be the good steward since you're a plant parent. If you're plant mama, if you're plant dad, you know, take the time to look, especially you're spending money. Plants are not cheap anymore. And so I just wanted to say that, but this beauty makes me so happy. It is just beautiful in its variegation. Then I want to say this, doing my research about this plant, I've heard that 
and read some people say that the variegation that they had on their painted lady reverted and the leaves got dark green. Whenever you have a variegated plant, you have to make sure that you give them constant light. If you put the plant in a darkened place in a corner or a place that doesn't receive as much light, and then I want to speak about that light, not direct sunlight, not direct sunlight that's going to burn the leaves, but bright indirect light so that the nutrients of the plant can get what it needs from that light. Um, and because what happens is it photosynthesizes and when you have variegation, in order for the plant to sustain itself, it needs that uh, photosynthesis. And so if it doesn't have it, then what happens is the leaves will turn darker green to survive. And so I'm making sure that this one stays in bright indirect light and it gets what it needs. And it's going to climb, have a thick stalk thick stem, I should say, and then just give me big leaves. Because as you know, when plants climb and, and they go up, if that's what their natural instinct is to do, the leaves get bigger. And so that's why I have this one staked like this. But isn't it beautiful? I like that the, each leaf is different. Each leaf is giving me a different form of variegation where you see this leaf with a little more dark on that patch. But it's just something that I didn't know I wanted. I saw it, like I said before, I was like, eh, where I saw a different plant and that plant didn't speak to me. But when I walked in the nursery and I saw this one, I was like, yeah, I'm getting that. And so this is the philodendron painted lady. And this is the plant that I'm going to be featuring today. And you will be getting follow ups about this plant so you can see how it's growing, what I um learn more about the plant as I've cared for it. And there it is, the philodendron painted lady.